welcome Queen B to Kevjet, the podcast. Amen. I feel like I should roll out the red carpet. No. <laughs> well, I was well on the other day. Were you? Tell me about that. I went to... Priscilla, was um, it? Priscilla, yeah. Do you, know, the... do you know, I was I... there the night before you. Okay, yeah, because they had... Um... I've got a pamphlet. I was here. Priscilla party. It's amazing. Yeah. Tell, tell me about your experience. Well, no, I've been to quite a few drag parties and before. Um, my good friend of mine, Simon Gross, he does a lot of drag parties and, you know, gigs, events, yeah. So he rang me up on Monday and said to me, um, would you like to come? Red carpet sound, everyone's there. And I went there and it was nice. I've been to them before. But the main thing I was looking for when I was there was celebrities to take selfies with. And who did so you I met spot? Christopher uh, Biggins. Mm -hmm. And that black guy that was married or was his girlfriend, Vanessa Feltz, um, Vanessa Feltz, X-Man. Sure. And I met, obviously, my um, Katie Price. I saw that on social media. How was yeah. she? She, she was very nice. We were laughing. She was looking at me. I was, I was making her laugh. I made everyone laugh. You get me? And then who else I saw? I think that was it. <laughs> Whoever I put up. I, I saw lots of photos. I saw lots of photos. Yeah. You looked like you had a great yeah. time. I, I wish, but you know what I should have done? Like yesterday when I went to my another um, event, um, luncheon event, I should have brought my mic out because I've got a new hobby now. Wherever I go, because I'm booked out until next year, wherever I go, I, I interview people. So I've done a seven yesterday, you know, different people doing things. So that's my little hobby with my little mic. I saw that on social media and I yep. love watching those video clips. Yeah. I'll be going because I'll be traveling to different places. I went out, I, when I was in, I'm going to Skegness soon, a couple of weeks, and I'm going places wherever I go just to talk to interesting people. And to find out how they feel about what's going on in the world and what they're doing and things like that. It's such a great idea because if yeah. there's anybody in this world that deserves to be a host of a TV show, it is you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's how far, that's how close I can get to being on a, 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 a host is doing what I do. You know what? To, but I, but I, I'm glad I'm doing it because I'm talking to strangers. They're not celebrities. I love that. I think that and is... And they're doing their own thing. You know, everybody has a story. And I say that Everyone's every day, every yeah. day. Love it. I um, I absolutely love what you do on social media. You are so entertaining. And yeah. I, I'm always looking at you on social media. I'm all, and then sometimes I see random, like I just put one of the um, fake, I got to recall a word fake, Mr. T. Sometimes I see random pictures because I, I live off um, my Gogo Boss platform. I live sure. off it big time. Sure. Let's and, talk um, about got, that. You did nine series on Gogglebox, didn't you? Well, five whole years. I don't know five how many years. series is that. Five wow. whole years. I started it. And um original so cast. Glad. Yes, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was glad that Channel 4, Studio Lambert, when I started it, up until the five years, I was the number one that that made the whole show. The you're the one told. you're the one that have everybody coming back i'll tell you yeah that. yeah up to this day here now kev everyone said go back go back miss goggle box go back let me know i've done my bit babes love it i i right. love it and even with the reruns when we see you come up we just repeat. have to sit down and repeat. watch them mm -hmm. yeah yeah just mm -hmm. a minute ago on the news when they mentioned about they arrested somebody for george's death sure they put a bit of advert with um the Guess what they put on? I went, I was next to Sandy. They put on the drunken um Stephen Dom. They put Dom on as an advert and Sandy. I just saw it. Wow. Every time is. I see anything to do with me, anything to do with Google Box, everyone thinks about me. It's amazing. I mean, you're the first person, the the first thing that people talk about when they talk about Google Box yeah. is they ask about you. Yeah. All the time. I get it every day. Every day of my life, I get stopped, no matter where I go. Um, Hastings. Christmas gone. I was in Hastings for a week. A family invited me for Christmas dinner and a week with them. I said yes, because I'm always with my family. And then Skegness, I was away in Skegness. Then I went to Portugal. Then I went 
Amsterdam and Benidorm. Everywhere I go, even in Portugal, people know who I am. I don't even know. I love it. Do you miss being on Gogglebox? No, not really. No. no. No, I would go on it now because I'm old now. Well, I mean old. I'm, I'm 62. But this happened 11 years ago. But um, at that time, Gogglebox is a con- contract show. That is why everyone's left. I'm not the only one that's left. Every not- it's everyone else is left. Yeah. Some's obviously died. But Gogglebox, you can't do certain things. That's why George got away with it, the way he rest in peace, when he went into Big Brother and went back on it, because you're not allowed to go back on a show. Sure. Sandy left to go on Big Brother. But when I left there, I could have stayed, you know. I swear down on my on my as my testimony. Gogglebox said, please stay. But I I, I didn't want to stay because of Sandy. Sure. Sandy had gone and it was hard work being in a celebrity because I wasn't taught how to be a celebrity, but I handled it very well. So it just sort of happened overnight for you, didn't it? Overnight, proper overnight. Next minute I was on benefits. Next minute I was on a, in a in a Rolls Royce in the Benz, Look and I won you. five awards. Mm. I won the BAFTA awards and NTA and three of my own straight. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Best personality of the year. What was that like attending the BAFTAs? It was. Um, Der- Dermot O'Leary I was sitting there and then when I got up I had a long dress on you know I was laughing because I had my shoes off so I had to take my shoes off and everyone was just clapping and I walked through the stage being Sandy right you know I know what to do about that and then I went up Dermot O'Leary had to come down the stairs to, to get me up because you know I had to lift up my dress and walk up the stairs and and then Sandy was up there and I made my speech and he made a speech. And yeah, man, I've met everyone. I've met every superstar in London, including Joan Collins and David Beckham. I saw the photo of you and David Beckham today and I yeah, was man, very that, jealous. First... You no, know, listen, when I started Gogglebox, that was my first celebrity I met because he'd done a book signing and I went down there. And you know what happened? While everyone was in the queue, I asked David, went in to see David. When they turned around, they saw me. It all stopped. The book signing stopped. They ran to me for selfies. The security had to grab me and bring me around the back. <laughs> Just like with Stormzy. Happened with Stormzy as well. When people's in the queue looking to see them, when they go, oh, my God, there she is. And they actually stopped. That is the, I'm, I'm going to forever talk about that until I die. You should. You should. Like Stormzy and David Beckham. People stopped and left them to come to me. And as, look at me. As they should. Yeah. Queen B. Amen. Let's just take a second to um, acknowledge uh, George, who passed away this week. Yeah. I'm Gogglebox. That's... He's part of your Gogglebox family. Yeah, that, man. That came as a shock. It did come as a big shock. More than, yeah, because I know him, obviously. I just put his picture up. I met his family. I did know Pete as well, but Blake, he's, he's, he passed away in three years. They said on TV a minute ago, that's what I know. She's lost her husband and her son. She must be... And, you know, lately everyone's dying and something's going wrong. So death is a serious thing now because everyone's feeling it. You know what I mean? It's true. It's true. But um, I don't know. It's sad. And he's only 40, man. And that baby, I remember, the, I remember when she was pregnant, the wife. The woman, the girlfriend, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Such man. Such a sad quite tragedy. A few people has died on Google Box in, you know, but of old age or something, isn't it? That's true. In the last few years, there's always been somebody, but this is quite a shock yeah. when it's somebody who's so young. Yeah. So we just wanted to acknowledge that. Yeah, man. I read something in the newspaper, and I yeah. know you can't always believe the newspaper. Yeah, no, listen, I I sell stories. Well, I read a story about you, and it says that you've taken a job in a funeral parlor. No, yeah. Now, what happened? (laughs) Listen, there's always, some people love me. They always like to twist up everything. Now, what happened? Look, where I was yesterday, his name is Lord Brett McLean. And over the 11 years I've been on Gogglebox, he's he's my charity events manager, okay? Okay. His mum passed away. His dad's passed away in the last, say, three years, yeah? And he's my best friend, yeah? He's my, I'm his best friend. Every event he's got, 
I go. Anyway, if you look in the newspaper, he went for a thing where his step brothers and sisters took him to court over when the mum died, the dad died first and the mum died after, I think, left him the house. It's a big story. Google it of 300,000. Okay. It was going on for years. Even the, the newspapers came down, not the newspapers, they came to my house. I was going to do a little story on it. But the story's out. So it was on the TV. Okay. But I said, I said, Lord, but don't put me in it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it's a private thing. I don't want your family to know what I, I've been around your mum and dad and you all your for 11 years. You understand? You ain't seen your family. So sure. anyway, cut the story short. Lord Brett said, he's got, the, I don't know where, where he get the money from, but he owns the house. And he works, he, he works in, he's got about 20 jobs. Google him. <laughs> anyway, he said that I'm going to buy a funeral parlor. Now, guess what? I was living there with him. September gone, October. No, I'll live and live for three months because I'm not going to lie. I, I I haven't got a permanent place at the moment. I'm okay. I'm I'm living in hotels actually, which some of my haters don't like. Oh, <laughs> I said that I got a hate campaign. That's another that's another drama. Anyway, listen. So Lord Brett bought a funeral parlor. So last year, I got all excited. I mean, Lord Brett, I'll be the cleaner. Because you'll clean the blood. I mean, I don't know. But I was getting all excited. Because I was living in Hastings, and the newspaper, you can get in the newspapers in Hastings like this. <laughs> they love talking. <laughs> so I turned around and said, I'm going to be working in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the funeral parlor. And they put it in the paper. Just like every year I'm moving to Hastings. I'm a yo-yo. Ask everybody. Every minute I'm doing something, I'm living there, there, everywhere, Derby. When I left Gogglebox, I lived in Birmingham. Then when COVID come, I run to London. Then I run to Derby. Then I'm back here. I'm just active. It's the Gogglebox does it to me. <laughs> so that was the story. I weren't going to go there. I'm back here in London. I had if visions I wanted of... to, If I wanted to, I was just going to be like the assistant, you know, when you come in and said, they, uh, my mom or my son, someone's dead. I would have just wrote down the details. <laughs> that was it. That was, I can tell you a story about everything. Yeah. Because you know, the papers like to, but I don't mind. I, oh. I'm 62. I don't mind anything. You know what I mean? I had visions of you in this funeral parlor and uh, that would be <laughs> the most amazing reality show. It would. Yeah. Especially when the dead bodies start coming in. <laughs> yeah, but but you know what? If I really, really, if I if I could have got a property, because it's hard, I'm, I'm on the housing list now, and I'm going to go meet someone next week, Friday, regarding my housing, yeah? Because I'm going to go back in one of them old people home again, because I like them. I don't want to live on my own. Sure. And I said to my children, I might as well go in one now, because that's when you're going to put me in one later on, so I might as well go in there from now. At least you I'm can choose it now. Yeah, so I'm going to get another one. It's my third one now. So I'm waiting for that now. So next week, Friday, I've got a meeting to put me somewhere. But otherwise, at the moment, I'm happy where I am. Good. You're you're always on the go, that's for sure. I'm always on the go because I'm busy. I don't know. Because I've got a character now about me. I didn't know about me, but I did. Like, <laughs> till I started Gogo Box. You can't tell now me I'm that you were... You can't tell me that you were a quiet person up until no, Gogo Box. <laughs> You're funny. You're right. You're right. No, I wasn't. What was I trying to say? I was trying to show off. You were trying <laughs> no, to no, bullshit no. me somehow. No, no, no. But I was the queen of Brixton. Okay. That's when, that's when they found me in the pub. Sit down with my jewelry on. I used to go party. What was I doing? Babysitting. I just became a grandma. She's so 13 you were like, now. You were like Nanny McPhee. I was, yeah. And like when, yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> when I went, I went, this, this is my first granddaughter. I went a real daddy, but <laughs> um, I was a grandma when Gogglebox came into my life. Yeah, because my granddaughter came on it for the first series. But when it started to get big now and she couldn't go to school, I went taking her in the nursery. I'm sitting down watching TV, eating pot noodle. How long, how, how many hours a week did you have to sit and watch TV? Two days. Listen, Kev. I can tell her I said, I don't regret it. It's over. Like, I've done too much now for my left. I've got a platform, a big platform. My 95,000 followers on Twitter has not left me. 
I had a hundred odd and just went down a little bit. Fifty thousand on TikTok. They sold me to Netflix because I didn't see this contract. They still got me underneath them. Listen, what did you say? What was that question? Because <laughs> I just got right off track. How many hours a week did you have to sit yeah, and watch yeah, TV? Yeah. Sorry. Oh my God. Oh, um, we work two days a week. Okay. And they come twice a like from two p.m. I was ready. They all came in the house because about six, seven camera crew, runners, um, producers, camera, music, noise, uh, voice, and whatever, and click, click, click. And so that's um, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just so say it would be like eight, that eight hours a day job, like say sixteen hours. Don't ask me about the money. That's <laughs> gone now. Yeah. No, it's all right. I, I I gave it away. Yeah, 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 yeah. The children had a good time. That's why they they don't mind. They look after me, even though when I'm broke. When I went to Benidorm the other day, somebody paid for my ticket and paid for my plane. I've got people that look after me because going to Benidorm, it's only 50, 60 pounds. In, you, you know what I mean? I'm in Europe. And my kids gave me 100 pounds to spend. There you go. Yeah. And I, I can imagine that you are the entertainment when you arrive. What? What? I've got a, whole, I've got a club there Amazing. in Benidorm where I do my little dancing out there. Yeah. I love that. I love yeah, that yeah. you embrace. I love that you embrace this kind of new life that it's brought to you. It's a new lead yeah. on life. I met people happy in it. There's a lot of sad people there, you know. I've had a lot of people that rang me up on suicidal, you know. And I, I said, listen. One man rang me up. I know who he is. On Chris, Christmas morning, I said, I'm going to kill myself tonight. I said, is it? I put it on Facebook. What do you do when someone want to kill yourself? He saw it. Him, take it down. But don't send me something. Don't talk to me like that. But I'm sorry, sorry. Don't do that, man. Don't make me know. Because you're coming around for Christmas. He lives in Margaret. In, in what life? Why would I do that? So you can kill yourself. No, no, no. That's how I talk to him. <laughs> I, I love- said, listen, please. I love that you're positive and and you yeah and I said you know I've got a lot of lonely women on online now that I talk to I'm up from I can be on the line from four o'clock in the morning six a lot of women with sickness they can't move bed bound all sorts of people that have been watching me for eleven years and who they don't see the real celebrity in me I ain't got the celebrity I'm still taught normal. Sure. But I, but I know my place. Do you, yeah, feel, yeah, yeah. do you feel when you're in a crowd of celebrities, do you feel like you fit in? And do you feel like you I can contr- you can control that environment? Yeah, listen, they love me. I know they, they would. Listen, listen, when they see, listen, we, me and Sandy went somewhere the other day. And guess what? They were all Love Island. The only way is like young people. It was a whole event for the new entrep- entrepreneur. I can't say. Entrepreneur. There was a girl sitting on our table, right? Remember, I'm 62. This happened about two years ago. 62 is yeah. young. Come on. I know. Listen, <laughs> there were some young girls, you know, short skirt, Love Island girls, uh-huh. you know? One of them was 21, I remember. Because I said to her, hold on, this is... Yeah, whatever time it was, but she was 21. So I said, that, but we've been on 11 years, 11 years. So you was 10. <laughs> and you grow up now. I swear it was, a, it was yeah, I was a 10, 11. You grow up good, in it? All dressed up in high heels, short skirt, lipstick, eye light. I love Ireland. Hear me. Oh, oh, that was nice. That was for the, the, the new generation. And they all came up to us. Have a selfie, please. Have a selfie, please. Listen, man. You know what I mean? Do you... Especially when, do, when you ain't seen me before. Do you ever get tired of people coming up to you when you're out and no. about? No. Everyone says that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... And But I, that's what I get tired of when I'm with people. And they say, oh, do you know who that is? Yeah. Oh, some people go, yeah, we do. Because you know you've got some people that don't say they know who you are. When I'm on the bus, I'm like this. I don't look at no one. Because I know some people are very jealous. 
I, 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 you, I, I'm talking about now. I can meet someone, yeah, and they will never say hello to me. They know who I am because they hate other people talking. Sure. But that, that's life. Right now, the people that I'm worried about right now is Kate, Kate Milliton and P. Diddy. I was going to ask you about Kate, actually. Are you a royalist? I'm a big royalist. Good. That is why it's downstairs. My Gogglebox Box book, they put me in there with the Queen. Amazing. A cartoon of us. The two queens. Because, um, yeah, because I'm when when I started Gogglebox, Box and all the every time, you know, different stories used to come up. We used to watch different things. Coronation Street. When I was on there, I cried. They made me cry on that bloody but I can I cry when when um, Ethel died in, in EastEnders, I cried. <laughs> I remember that. When E.T. come, I cried. And they wanted me to watch E.T. again. I goes, hold on there. I, but Channel 4, I've watched E.T. already and I cried. What am I crying again now? <laughs> Home Alone, I cried. So um, when they asked me about what do you think the royal family, I goes, I love the royal family. Do you remember when Sarah sucked the toe? Ooh, when yes. I said that, yeah. they, from they knew I knew everything about them. Because I was driving with Sarah Sutton the <laughs> and the newspaper. And when they heard me said that, that went viral. Because you know I've got, you know I've got every tape. It's all packed up. Wow. Of me on Google Box. That's amazing. I don't know how. One day I'm gonna get the kids them to. Well, they can have it when they grow up. Then the grandkids, they can watch me all over again. I actually yeah. looked, I Googled you, and you can actually watch um, full episodes on YouTube. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't get royalties, do I? I didn't see the small print. Oh, see, that's that's because Gogglebox was sort of the first reality-type TV, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, but I don't worry, because like I said, I still got my platform. And um, I still got a platform. And you're still making people <laughs> laugh today. today. I love that. And I love your yeah. Instagram. Your Instagram is very positive. Yeah. And my favorite I've thing at the moment. There. Yeah. My but favorite... you know what? Sorry, Kev. No, you okay. know what? I'm not really interested in. I know people come to me. But I like to put up. I'm interested in the P. Diddy, the American people. And yeah. the scandal. And I'm interested in and Prince Andrew. Why did he do that? What, what do you think? What, what do you, what do you think is the background there? Let's hear no. Queen Bee's well, the side. Queen, the family has got bad background. Like, I've dig them out. They've got they're naughty from long time. Sarah sucked the toe. Diana <laughs> gonna marry a black man. Andrew turned pedophile. The only one is that little small one and his wife. <laughs> what they call Edward. <laughs> He's I and of me. And then I don't know what Sarah's daughter's doing. Then Sarah tried to blackmail um, Andrew. See? The Queen, I know the Queen. I was invited to me and was invited to the Queen's 80th, you know. Wow. Yeah, it's on, it's on YouTube. And Prince Philip goes to me, Do you live here in Windsor? I goes, No, I live in Brixton. That went viral. <laughs> he goes, What? I goes, I goes, I watch your telly. Uh, I'm from Gogglebox. I watch telly. You watch me. Me watching. I bless him, spitting all over the place. That's on YouTube. The, what the do you, guard, every, everybody was laughing. What do you think of Camilla? Well, let, let her stay there. She and that Charles got a little thing on that on that branch. I love you, you love me. Way before Diana come. Sorry about Diana, Dad, but it, it that's his true love. Look at them now. Yeah. And where did you stand it's with little, Diana? But if Diana had lived, I don't know what would have happened, but things happen, innit? She went too quick, man. Do you think she was? Do you think she was murdered? No, I don't. I think it was an accident. And all I want to talk, I think Harry, it does belong to Charles. He's I called him Throw Throwback Thursdays. <laughs> With that ginger hair, he looks like Hewitt, but it's Throwback Thursday because you can get. He come from the Spencer side. What do you think of of Harry and Meghan? Yeah, they're all right. You know what he's doing there. That's the next drama because she's black. <laughs> I want to know if she's gonna go see her daddy. Cause that is liberty. If you don't want to, that ain't seen the grandkids. That and well, imagine if he dies, passes away, exactly. And you don't see them kids. That is naughty. She shouldn't do that. So what? The man was confused. I would have done the same thing. Pretend solar story for Kentucky. 
<laughs> you need your Whatever. own show. We need you on TV. I know everyone says one day I'll I'm all right how I am because somebody said it to me. I, go, I don't really want to go back. When I was on Google Books here, they just found me. I didn't know nothing about it. But the amount of hard work it is to be a celebrity, I can't keep up. I had to write a con I had a I had a psychiatrist. Did you? They pay someone to look after me because in case I I, I said I, I end up like Susan Boyle. Because you know some people can't cope with fame. But I done very well. They looked after me. I had a good agent. They watched me like Hark. They done everything for me, everything to keep me. I moved four times. Wow. To let's keep talk, away from Brixton. Let's talk about your friend Sandy. So rumor yeah. is that you guys are not friends anymore. So let's no, clear we that are up. We just, we just come back from Portugal and we just done, look, Google us. We just come back from Portugal over the weekend. And then we was in Skegness. We was, we opened up a big club in Skegness for disabled people oh, and wow. Down syndrome. And if you look at my post, we was on stage for hours while the whole of Skegness came to take selfies, free. Love that. Yeah, I and Dan Syndrome. This Dan Syndrome woman wouldn't wouldn't leave me alone. Not in a bad way. She was just hugging me all through. But, yeah, she was just she was just there. Was you're just lovable. Me. Yeah, yeah. Me, she's all right. I spoke to her Mother's Day, and then she sent me the link. Not the link. She, even though I knew already, we're on WhatsApp, isn't it? She, but she does her thing. I do my thing. I don't want to do what she does. She likes a she likes a little red carpet. She's more, she like she likes the limelight with it. I sure. tell her why, but like, you know, she, she does the red carpet with all the fancy. I can't bother with all that. All right, I, I do the local little stuff. But you you would steal yeah. the show anyway. And another thing as well, I don't charge. I can't charge because I want benefits. That sure. is why, Kev, guess what I've done? From the day I left Goggle Box to now, I don't charge. Oh, did you know when I went 100 years younger in 21 days? Did you? I didn't know that. Well, forget well, I'm, forget this. When I left Goggle Box, ITV snapped me up. And guess what? I was the only black person. I went, Guess who I went to go live with in Sardinia for 21 days to go under... To go Shut under, up. I need to go watch this. Yes. Doc Cotton, Russell Grant, Ricky from Senders, Sean Ryder, Sherry Houston, Kim from Emmerdale, and Roy Walker, eight of us. What was that like? It was wicked. <laughs> I they love me all. Listen, we all live together in the, they bought Sardinia and the river and the film crew. And me, Sean Ryder and R Ricky, we got in trouble. I find that hard to believe. We were drinking at night. If you ever look behind Sean Ryder's sofa, we was all drunk. And right, and then and then was drunk. No, no. <laughs> and then <laughs> the producers come knocking the door. And I went like this. And Sandra, get out. Ricky went going around. It was raining that night. Ricky went out in Avril singing. I'm singing in the rain. We was all drunk. Oh, that's the next best time of my life. And I've done some pantomimes, but that went, one of them went wrong. Google it. I'm going to pantomime. <laughs> oh. And I've been in jail. Google it. <laughs> Somebody came after and Channel 4 knew, you know. I've got so many stories, Kev, man. I need to but take I'm you happy. out for a drink. Yes, anytime. Listen. I, I need I'm to take you out. out. Yeah, I'm just funny. And I didn't know I was more funny. I got a hate campaign. Yeah, what's the hate campaign? Yeah, the hate campaign is somebody I know, right? Because I have cut off a few people really horrible. When I went I beef, uh, oh God. I have cut off some people. I had a set of fans here. Like, I was living with this white woman, my best friend named Anne Marie. She's 83, she's bed bound. But she relied on me. I done video. Everyone, there's all the proof. People just jealous. And they said, because it's an old white woman, they said I'm robbing her. The woman's got four carers in there. Social services come there. She's got two people that lives downstairs. But right? the African man that's there, he's got her card. And whatever. But people say, and, and Anne Marie's come on there. And I mean, when the ambulance come, because everybody should go in the hospital, yeah? They all know me. Everybody know me. But you see, people can make up things. I, I can understand. It's like, when I, look, haters and trolls, they watch me 24-7. They say I'm positive. 
People give me money. People buy my fly. They call it poncing. People sure. buy me food. That's what happened. I went to a restaurant. What's this? See the restaurant. I've gone live. See me up? Yeah, everyone. I'm getting food. Free food I was getting. Because somebody let me to come to open up the restaurant. Next minute, the hater actually contact the company. Every time I go somewhere, they contact the company and slag me off. The company's like, uh-oh, Sandra, these people are wicked. I go, like, no. I go, listen, when I started Gogglebox, Box, when I went to Gemma Collins' shop, and, I, and Gemma Collins gave me three bags of clothes, I met Gemma Collins, I met Ryan Clark, all of them. I asked them, I'm, I'm from Brixton. I'm black. I'm not being funny. I eat cow food. I'm tough. I don't know about your celebrity life. You look, can't tell me about me. I can't tell you about your mother, your father, and your dog. But I can't do that because I'm in the media eye, so I don't cuss. But one time when I went to go and see, what's his name? The guy with the Walker's Crips. What's, and he's got a brother, Lineker, not Gary, his brother. He had a party. When he saw me, he said, Ross, who are you? <laughs> I had the club raving. You see? Oh, Kev. So I got a little hate campaign talking about me, honsing, begging, drinking, saying all these things. And everything is all live. Of course. What I do. It's jealousy. So I, just, I, just, I ignore them. The other day, guess what I've been doing the other day? Since people say, Sandra, don't do that. They don't trouble me no more. My fans, my haters don't trouble me no more. They guess what they do? They trouble my fans. One woman rang me up crying. They take their page and they slag them off. Oh no. Why are you talking to Sandra? And they get it. Get it. And then sometimes I'm bored, right, Kev? And I said to everyone, has anybody seen my haters? Because I haven't seen them all week. <laughs> is it is anybody around? <laughs> yeah. Bit, I'm bored now. Is everyone on holiday or what? Me off. Yeah. yeah. So but like like Gemma said to me, Gemma Collins. I remember when she's the first one said it when I met her a long time ago. When me said he went there with what's his name? Boom, you know that guy, boom, the one that died. Yeah. From storage hunter. He took me and said, up to Gemma Collins. And Gemma said, you're good. She goes, ain't they looking in your bins yet? I goes, what bin? She goes, and they're looking in your bins. They're looking in her bins outside her front. No, I ain't got none of it yet. She goes, don't worry, love, you're going to start going in your bins. I goes, is it? So I started to wrap up my black bags and put it in somebody else's bin down the road years ago. I but um, they don't... um. Katie Price, when people talk about haters and things, I think about her, what they do to um, RV. Sure. They even, they even, haters and trolls trouble people that's even disabled. So look what they've done to Kate and yeah. these other celebrities. So yeah. I can't get better. When I see that, Kev, have you got any? Have you ever had any? Not yet, but um, now you have me scared. <laughs> Oh, don't don't be scared. Just ignore them. What's her name? Guess who contacted me? Not really contact me. Daniel Westbrook put something up on because I talked to her on Instagram that the trolls I made her cry. I said, listen, I just I, I, I sent her a little message. She texted back and said, thank you, Sandra. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Just try to block and delete. I can't got this called the blocking finger. Sure. And don't read it. I'm sure Kate and William don't read certain things, but some people might have to tell them. Just ignore, and that is what I do. What would your advice oh, be could... to, to Kate right now if she was looking for advice from Queen Bee? Um, what would you say to her? I would say, Kate, Kate, thank God. I think you must have, the cancer, when you went for the operation, I think they must have took out the cancer. So you're recovering. I don't know your business. But right now, you've got to concentrate on them three kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. And your husband. And your father-in-law, he's going through what he's going on. So do your best and ignore the world. You've done it very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows what to do. It's so sad she's getting trolled, like, whatever. And what's her name? Why do you want Kim Kardashian to apologize to her? What Who's do you think Kim of the Kardashians? No, I like them. Do you? Yeah. And you know what my daughter said? Mommy, you always like people that don't people don't like. I like they're doing their thing. Kev, everyone's doing them. Look at P. Diddy. Mm. And all these boys that's coming out. 
Mm-hmm. What What's your advice to him? <laughs> come out as gay. Come out as gay. Just, uh, you know what? Dude. I'm feeling it. I'm feel. I'm feeling PDD. There's a thing somebody put up. Jay Z's got missing. <laughs> Beyonce, listen. I ain't live off these people, you know. I don't live off no one in Brixton or London because no one ain't doing nothing. There's nothing going on. All my friends are crackheads, yeah, or teeth. And I don't talk to them no more. I walk on my own. And I try not to see them because they say, oh, get a pound. No, I ain't got it. And they want to beat me up. Not really beat me up because I don't want to give them a pound sure. because I look good. You see, when I go social, I'm just talking how I am. I got all my rings on, you know. I dress up and say, where are you going? I go, I might be broke, be on benefit. Doesn't mean I can't put on a good clothes and come in and pretend I'm rich. She started to laugh. And I go, don't put me on that day. I'm going Benadome. You you still look good, girl. <laughs> I've tried, but I'm happy going. Yeah, I, I, I'm feeding P. Diddy K. What next is going to happen? I know that's that's the most interesting thing because we just don't know. Because we're not even dealing with black on black killing. Damilola's Taylor dad's died. I've got quite a few people that's died. My brother died two and a half years ago. He had cancer, so, and I was there with him when he died for the last three months. I cared for him. He's my younger brother. That pissed me off. Yeah, but and you had a sister that a passed sister away now. as well, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I got my sister. I got one sister that died. That one that died the other day, that's Jennifer Richards, my best friend of 50 years. I call her my sister. But I've got a real sister. She's 93 and she's got dementia. I better go and see her soon. Ooh. And I'm booked out. I'm going to Black Awards again. I go every year. I'm going to Skegness to hang around with a mobility scooter. Scooter, <laughs> scooter. So guess what I've got to do? For free, they're going to gonna give me a caravan to live in. Yeah. Food, free food. Free drink, free everything. All I gotta do is ride a scooter up the road and back in Skegness by the sea. I might have to come see you. That's why I do things for free. It's That's amazing. why I pay people. Yeah, people will pay for my hotel. Yeah. But you you bring so much joy to people. I do. And I know and, I do. And I think that's amazing. Yeah, uh, I think that's a great thing. And I yeah. love what you're starting to do with your microphone interviews. So yeah, yeah, I've got it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It's my daughters, my granddaughters. <laughs> it's such I a great idea. I love talking to people. Where is it? Here it is. Yes, Kev. And um, I would like to interview one day. <laughs> You'll have to interview yeah. me someday. Sure. Yeah, get me. Go on. I could shock you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I you got a blue tick. I can't even get a blue. Oh, I don't. Somebody nicked my blue tick off Twitter. Did they? God, yeah. There's always a scammer. There always is, oh. isn't there? Yeah. I know. It just sort of happened. Yeah. My blue tick just appeared one day, and oh. uh, I, I said, "I'll take that." That's good. Um, I like to uh, second half of my interview just throw some quick fire questions. Go on, don't go don't, on. don't think about the answers. Just whatever no. comes to your mind. Spit, spit spit yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do that one. And yeah. there's no filter. No. So let's just start with easy breezy. What is your favorite part of the day? I'm waking up in the morning, six o'clock. Good morning, Britain. Loose woman. Been doing it for years. And then if I've got any duties to do, do my duties. And then my main day is, and everyone knows, it's all over Facebook, phone on silent, Emmerdale Coronation Street. And then nine o'clock, my body goes. I go to bed by nine. And then if I, I can do, if I do seven hours, I'm up by four, straight on TikTok. Love it. Love it. I've been doing that for all this year for so far, every for years. My favorite part of the day is in watching TV, watching TV. Funny enough, yeah. Mrs. Queen of Gogglebox. Yeah, yeah. I have to watch TV. I'm addicted. <laughs> what is your biggest TV. weakness? Um, alcohol. Oh. What is that? Yeah, yeah. When you mean weakness, yeah, alcohol. I try not to drink. Like I had so much yesterday. That's why I didn't go and get none today. I drink every day. I've got alcohol dependence. And... But I'm not drunk. Okay. 
Join the club. I'm immune now. <laughs> yeah, I took a blood test the other day. That went <laughs> viral. I'm waiting for the test to come back now. For God's sake. Um, straight after Benadol, I'm gonna, they're going to do it. I know when they took that blood, boy, it's, 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 it's going to be like a bottle of whiskey in that blood. <laughs> what is your drink of choice? Whiskey? Whiskey. Nice. What is your biggest learning experience that you've had? Learning experience? To ignore people. Don't take it to heart. Yeah, that's my biggest one. When To, sh- to shut up. And can't kick off because of my status. Sure. I can't do it. I can't. And I don't want to. I don't want to be horrible. No. Because at one stage, you know, I've got my Bible, yeah? Every morning, I read a psalm to everyone, yeah? Right here. I sleep in my Bible. Mm-hmm. And a couple of years ago, I used to read the Bible. Then somebody upset me. Then I started to swear. <laughs> <laughs> and people, they said, you can't do that. I mean, all right, I'm going to stop. You look the Get them to meet me, yeah, just to, yeah, to, to calm. My biggest, wherever you said, I'm calm now. Good. I just take it as a pinch of salt now. Growing up, I'm learning. Yeah, man. I Good. like that. What is like your idea of a perfect date? Wine and dine, restaurant. Yeah. I don't really wine and dine, innit? I just go to the pub, so. <laughs> <laughs> um. Pub lunch. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Keep it real. I'm not going to no posh place with a knife and fork. Put the electric <laughs> on, top up and put, top up electric, mate. No, like pub lunch. Nice. What's the best compliment you've ever received? Um, From Channel 4, the man that owns Studio Lambert, I forgot his name. I forgot that in a moment. The man that owns like, Google Box. I don't know if he owns it now. I know Tanya's left. I said to him, I think this is what I'm, I think this is what I'm going to say to you. I think this is my biggest compliment. I said to him, listen, um, I'm doing Gogglebox. I want to do another. Could you give me something else to do? Another job? Because I'm big now, you know. Hear him. I'll give you something to do, Sandra. Do you want to go naked attraction? I goes, why would I do that? Why would I frighten my grandkids? That was a joke. No, the biggest compliment I got, I don't know. That my daughter said I want to be like you, Mum. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That is it. That she is been saying it because that... of how I am. I go places, I make people laugh. Yeah. That's she beautiful. said, Mommy, I want to be like you. Yeah, that's the biggest one. That's a great compliment. Yeah. What are what are three things that you could never live without? Mobile, TV, and food. Do you see what happened last the other day? What happened on Facebook? Remember when we had a lockdown on Instagram and Facebook? Yeah. That day. So guess what happened? I'm on the phone, and it was a breakdown. Actually, I'm live on the phone. I can't get on it. I've got two phones. I can't get on. So I said to everybody, what's going on? Everyone's saying, Sandra, Sandra, just calm down. I mean, what? So I run with my night on across the road to the pub to get Wi-Fi to say, everyone, ah, what's going on? Everyone had their own reason and um, Instagram and thing. And somebody, one of my fellow white men friend named Daddy Fridge, he left his house in Uber, came all the way from Stockholm to my, to the pub just to sit down with me. We all had a breakdown. Everybody was like, where was I? I went on Facebook. I was on TikTok. And people were saying, you can't cope. Serious. My brother's wife texted and said, they better hurry up and put this back on. And that's not like her to talk like that. Yeah. So I know. My kids got me that new phone I'm talking to you for my birthday the other day. But this one here, I've got 10 Facebook accounts, you know. Oh, my goodness. I'm using four now, but because I, I got different people in, in the eleven years. Sure, oh I'm goodness. all over, but I'm sick to one now. And this is a TikTok, and I'm so you know when I'm talking. I've got two Instagram. When I'm talking to you on here, 
when I went to get your password, I went on here. Cause it's on... <laughs> go on, Kev. How go do you on. keep up? How do, do you, you know keep up? My, do you know you're my first podcast? No. Yeah. Well, I must be your favorite podcast as well. You, you're my first podcast. Ooh, you were a virgin. So let, me, let, me, let me act normal. Let me act normal. Go on. Love that. I could, I could chat for hours, you know. Go on. You're, you're, so you were a podcast virgin. Yeah. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> you made me, you made me, you, not squid, you made me, made me got pimples. I'm more than a virgin, babes. Oh, I can't be bothered with no boyfriends no more. No, I said to everyone, I, I said, I took a lot of women are like me now. I got about sixty odd women on like me all single. I go, everyone said they ain't had it for um, fourteen years, twelve years. I mean, oh for God's sake, I me, mean, I'm only about a year or two. I have a friendship group of girls, um, and I call them the Golden Girls. They're all in their sixties, the and they're all yeah. single, and we have the most fun. I and could imagine. We go out in London and I'm gonna invite you next time because you next time, thank you. You will thank love you. it. Thank you. What is your biggest regret? Um, none. Love no. that answer. No, no, no. Because you know why, Kev? I do occasionally sit down here and go down memory lane, think about how I was born. I was born very um well. When I mean like my mom spoiled me. I had my first mink fur coat from Rose at E Street. At fifteen, she spoiled me, but I've had a, I've had a few jailbirds. I don't regret that either, because <laughs> I had fun in there. Many the officers you see me dress up in the morning, and going to go to school. You can go to school, you know, to do something. Miss Martin, where are you going? Of course, I've got things to do, places, got people to see. I yeah, love yeah. I don't regret. I don't regret there. I don't regret. No, that's really good. Thing. I like what you're saying. Yeah. I have um, all my four children, even though for four different men. Uh, two are dead now. I've had three husbands and divorce. No, I don't regret nothing. You've lived life. I'm proper. That's why my mom, my daughter said, listen, you better don't. My mom, my daughter's done my funeral for me. The Gogo Box money, so that's paid. And she done my insurance. So listen, mom, you better just know when to die, you know, because I just need that money. <laughs> Because she goes, if you if you live a, over a certain time, I'm gonna lose the money. You mean what money? The insurance. Just going to have you just in case you keel over. But that was <laughs> funny as well. What is your favorite childhood memory? Oh, um, oh, I grew up good, but listen, I grew up as childhood memory. Well, my sister got married. I got a picture of me when I was five. Got in school. Yeah, because you know why? One of my friends came up, somebody that knew me from when I was school. She goes, Sandra, this is when I was five, six, seven. You haven't changed. I always met people up. I used to go to school. She goes, you always came to school in the morning with bags of sweets to give everyone. My childhood memory was nice. Good. My, my dad died when, because my dad was old when he had me. My mom, I'm a love child. My dad was 65, my mom was 42. Thank God I never come out down syndrome. <laughs> Maybe that, I think the laughing and the funny person of me is that is is the yeah, I had a good childhood. Yeah, proper. Good. I was spoiled. But then again, and then from 14, I went into crime. Well, they were all learning experiences. 1977, I had a letter. I was I was on probation. I don't what did you do, life. girl? I don't know what happened, but I came out well. <laughs> it's like before Gogglebox came in my life, I not so long come out of jail. And the other day I was on, on my life and talking about, I do talk about myself a lot. Yeah. Hear me. If Gogglebox met me at 50 and I come out of jail three years, why was I in jail at 47? What was I doing? <laughs> you damn teeth. <laughs> I must have been shoplifting or doing fraud. Oh, I don't know. But I've had a good life, um, Kev. You and have. my kids, yeah, yeah. Thank God. That brings me Every to my next school. question. What's one thing yeah. you would one thing you wish you knew at the age of nineteen? 
Oh. Well, I've got pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, you figured that one out oh, quickly. You know what? I would have known how to keep my knickers on, get a job, save up some money, and maybe we'll have had a house now. That's and that's advice. what I'm learning my children, my grandkids. My, my first one's 13. I've got 13, 12, and 11. And the rest is two five-year-olds, six-year-olds. But like 19, and I just got pregnant at 80. Stick, get a job, get education. That's what I'm telling the kids. Mm -hmm. Nobody drop no knickers, knickers after knickers. If, if you that, had a I genie... Love... No, go ahead. I love what you're asking me. You know, I've never done this before. I've Good. never had a podcast. Good. If you That's had a I put on Facebook. I put it on Facebook. I'm having my first podcast, everyone. Amazing. If you had a genie in your hand and you could be granted three wishes, what would your three wishes be? Go back on Goggle Box. Definitely go back on Goggle Box. Get a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Someone. Something. An a old friend. man. A friend. Huh? What would the third one be? I'm going on a cruise. Never been on one. Somebody nice. do a holiday. Yeah. A holiday. Or no, yeah. Guess where I want to live? I want to live in I really want to live in a caravan. Do you? That's my worst nightmare. No, uh, but not in the bushes though. But I would like <laughs> I, I've, I've lived in quite a few of them. I like caravans on a site. You would be yeah. the entertainment. I would. You like being around oh, people, don't you? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. If if you every time I step in a room, it's amazing. If you could do carpool karaoke, would you do it with Harry Styles or Taylor Swift? Harry Styles, I think. What reality show would you turn down? None, because I want to go in Love Island. What about Naked Attraction? Yeah, I will turn that one down. Yeah, that's <laughs> obviously. I'm not doing that. Yeah, oh yeah, what reality naked attraction? <laughs> oh please. And then what? when my kids when my grandkids get older and they can say, Oh look, your grandma, look, you I can see her vagina. <laughs> naked attraction. Naked I would attract. love to do cold creep. I went for Big Brother, you know, but guess who got it? I, I went up, they lied about I would me love you on Big Brother. It. They got me on it. I went for the interview, but the, guess who got it? You know that guy, the big face? I'm not watching it this year. Yeah, well, I watch it. Anyway, I like it. I'm really all right what I do. I've got my own little show going exactly, on. Exactly. On, you you yeah. got it. What, what's your I've favorite? Got, I can go places. I'm booked out. Every week I'm doing an event. I'm going here. I'm doing this. Somebody want me because I do it for free. And you bring joy yeah, to sorry, so many I people. Was watching telly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I do it for free. What's your favorite number? Um, well, 62. I just said it because I'm 62. I ain't got a favorite number. No, number five? No, that's my birthday, the fifth. I had a lovely birthday. The fifth of what month? Fifth of February, 1962. Shut up. Oh. Shut up. That's my birthday. Well, you're, the fifth. you're the fifth. That's my birthday. I'm the 5th of February. No, and, it ain't. And so is one of my golden girls. I'm the 5th of February. I had a beautiful body. Google it. We are yeah. Aquarians. That's why we're attracted yeah, to each other. That's why. Oh, that is why. And man, I didn't know. Love that. I love you even more now. Thank you. <laughs> and guess who else? Russell Grant. Uh -huh. and, Alice Ham and Alice Hammond. I met her. Oh, yes, that's right. Her birthday's the 5th as well. Yeah, every every year, Russell says happy birthday to me. Oh, very nice. Oh. Um, let's just get a couple more. What's the um, the most embarrassing piece of clothing you own? Um, I, I ain't got none. <laughs> You're loud and proud. I've got, I've got loud, yeah, but all my clothes are loud. Yeah. Love it. Embarrassing. No. No, I'm sorry, love. Love it. Um, what is your favorite food? Oh, Chinese. Oxtail, cow foot, Chinese and cow foot is my top. I was back by a pot noodle. I'm still addicted to pot noodle. <laughs> Who is your least favorite celebrity? No, I love 
Mm, no. I love everyone. I like that. I've been in the Coronation Street set. I love everyone. Who's my least favorite? No, man, I'm in the, I'm, 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 no, no, I can't, no, I can't pick up anyone. I love everyone on telly. If you could have a phone call for one hour with anybody in the world, who would it be? Um, hold on. I don't know. Jesus Christ, that's a serious. Anybody in the world. A mum. I love that. No, because I'm the only girl. And she she spoiled me. I, she used to give me money. I still dream about her. She, one time I was dreaming, then she gave me money to dream. Oh, when I woke up, I was broke. <laughs> yeah, my mom. No, why not my mom? My mom and my younger brother, Doug, together. Yeah, That's my mom. Beautiful. My husband. Yeah, beautiful. I love her. I love her bad. I'm the only girl. She Aww. made me, innit? She made me. Aww. If, I think she made. She, I got the quality. That I feel because I feel special. Bubble Box made brought a lot out of me. Now I know who I am. Now I knew yeah. who I was before. Sure, but now, look, I was in the right place, at the right time. Sandy went there, you know. It came for me. I brought Sandy in. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Sandy went there, and a lot of my black girlfriends was very upset that I picked. Sandy, because I was hanging out with them more than Sandy. But Sandy, Sandy, I said I can't find no crackhead friends. I can't put no crackheads on the TV. No. Or criminals. Or somebody that's doing something wrong. I call everybody a crackhead. Just like <laughs> just Mathis. I don't mean it like that. There's always someone dodgy doing something. I'm an alcoholic. Well, not a real one, but like I'm independent. You understand? Sure. But um, everybody around me had a story. And it was only me and Sandy could have uh, could have do the show. Sir, if they came out with a film about your life, who would play you? You're funny, you know. Is this video going to come out? All this? Is mm -hmm. going to come out? I can't wait. I can't wait. To, I can't wait. Um, Who would film me? Yeah. My daughter, Camelia. She can play me. Very good. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah. Do you have a story about it? No. Come on, you must. I ain't got no story. I was just talking to somebody yesterday. Some guy, he used to be a policeman. Now he's a man that he's telling me something. Oh, I, he's gonna, it's on my page. He's my first one. I said my first interview. He does something with telescopes or something. And I said, do you believe in aliens? I just talked about aliens yesterday. I can't remember what he said, though. But I'm I gonna, believe in them. I'm going to go look it up. Do you believe in yeah. life after death? No. Once you're gone, you're gone. Buried. Even the Bible confusing me because... The Bible confused me because... Did you know... I've read it. When your wife dies, she's got to marry your brother. It's in the Bible. I read it. <laughs> no, I read um, Genesis and Exodus. I read two chapters, and yeah, it, it started to confuse me. Everyone was going with everyone. What happens when my husband yeah. dies? Yeah, you have to marry his his brother. <laughs> <laughs> you have to marry his brother. That's what you got to do. Keep it in the family. Amen. Last question: Who is your favorite yeah. podcast host? Kev Jet. Very good answer. His name's Kev Jet. Born the same day as me, 5th of February. Not the same year, though. Amazing. Yeah. Do you know him? He's cute. <laughs> Thank you so much, Queen B. I love you so much. And no I problem. appreciated you being a guest on my show. And I'm going to keep in touch and I'm going to take you out. Thank you very much. Oh, I look good, you know. You look amazing. I can't wait for this to come out.